Hey guys, uh, today we're playing Swapper again. Um, at the top, I'd like to mention that due to a sequence of enraging mistakes made on my part, uh, I actually recorded a session and was not able to post it in a form for you to be able to see it. Uh, fortunately, all you missed, because it was a short session, is about, <clears throat> I think, four four Trigon Orbs. Uh, let's see, so I found this series of rooms right here, which is a bunch of portals, and basically brute forced my way through it to end up over here. Um, I basically got a Trigon Orb here, I think, basically I went down this, I went, the last session we started in this room, and I explored this branch, so I think I got three or four Trigon Orbs here, and I went back and got the one I missed over here. Um, and then discovered this. And I haven't gone farther? Or did I get a Trigon? I got a Trigon Orb here. Trigon Orb here too. Okay, so that um, stinks. Although, I have the footage. So I might be able to just, right after I say I don't have it, do like some sort of super cut of me just getting Orb, 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 or, you know, show the rooms in a sped up way. Or maybe they'll be going on while I'm talking right now. We'll see. Probably should have thought this before I started recording. Either way, we are going to, at the very least, get these next three orbs. So let's get to it. I already talked to that guy. I don't remember which portal goes weird. Wait, this looks new. Okay, so the button turns off the red light. We cannot swap through there. That's blue light, okay. There's pink light, which is light you can't get out of. Okay. I think, what is it? I forgot what this is already. This turned off the blue light, okay. So. I'm going to drop a guy up there. Run over here to turn the light off. No. First thing I want to do... Let's see. We drop a guy here. Okay, this is all red light. Of course it is. Okay. We need to find somewhere where we can essentially run in place. Or... All I really want to do, maybe, is, um... Let's see how far can I make it. sound is incredibly annoying. Um, I do believe it is uh, a feature of the level, not of... Dang, can't go to the right anymore. So that clearly means... Oh wait! Did it. First try! On fire, I'm eating these, eating these product placement high chews, brain food. Clearly, um, they've got all the crazy ingredients that you need to do smart things like walk off of cliffs. You go in the middle of one already. No, we didn't. Two trigon orbs here. Oh, I don't know what logs we missed in the last session. Um. There was talk about the Watchers. That pretty much sums it up well, I think. 
What do watchers know about the weather? With no physical senses with which to perceive the world, we have to ask, what constitutes knowledge for a watcher? How do they conceptualize death? What do they know of the physical world? Watchers must have some conception of the natural physical forces which cause them to move in and out of one another's detection range. Such forces may be inexplicable for them, but then the human race has to but then the human race has had great success in understanding the physical world beyond its gaze. The watchers have likely theorized, and they have had rather more time than us to get things right. Okay, we got the Batens. We will drop dead people on the Batens. Let me up. So, I uh, we had a level or had a room earlier. Those pits basically just function as clone limiters for puzzles. It's very rude. Do -do -do slow motion fall. Hey, a dead guy just fell in front of me. That's creepy. So the button turns off the blue light. How many clone guys do we have? We're gonna have two clone guys for a total of three people. Okay, what's down there? Certain death, that way to kill people easily. I'm assuming you're gonna turn off the red light. Yeah, it's shocking. Okay, so the first thing that I would like to do is basically the same thing we just did. Although that might not be possible. You turn off red light, right? Yeah, okay. So once we drop that guy, we cease being able to move left functionally. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna be a little aggressive on the, the call to fast forward right now. Well, I cogitate and you can miss all the boring experimentation or, you know, see certain parts of it. Anyway, fast forwarding. Got it, first try. Boom! Okay. Sorry! Oops. Goodbye. Okay, now where do we want to go? I believe the only place we haven't explored is here. An obstacle, okay. So yes, we will go back to the airlock and unlock all of the air. That we saw is signs of Zeno, presume, presumably the Watchers. Oh yeah, all the air, man. It's great. Airlocks are great. Oh cool, zero G. Uh, where do I want to go? Clearly, that's boring. Pew pew pew. So this light has mass, or maybe it's not light. I mean, light 
does have ma so I have not taken physics in a while. I shouldn't have answered that though. That seems like a, one of the earlier things we covered. Let me in! For the love of God! Okay. Hey, I'm upside down. Maybe. Unlocked. Teleport. What do you say? Specimen profile. The Head Watcher is a vast watcher specimen, the first to be discovered on Chori 5. It exhibits far more active neurological activity than the rest, seeming to function as a kind of group communications hub. The sample is being relocated to the Mind Science Laboratory, Sector 2, for extended observation following red flagged radiological activity. Transit order. Wait. 112 tons. Transit limitations. Due to extreme weight and dimensions, sample is unfit for teleport. Transmit method 0G, station exterior, sample to be towed with guide ropes. Trans transit route, searcher, research sample containment, to airlock, to sample, to station exterior, to airlock, to gravity control, to mine science laboratory. So we are in the station, ex we are in the gravity control, theoretically, is that where we are? Perhaps. You made it. Good show, but we're running out of time. Oh no. Dennett and I the watchers. We have to stop. They're doing more than watching! Get it online and come help Okay, me. gravity controls. Then I can control gravity. With my gravity gun. Hey, I did it. Oh my goodness. Oh, that swaps gravity. That's pretty cool. How do I get back down? Did I screw myself? Can I not drop clones? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see if we can go through airlocks upside down. Oh, clearly I'm supposed to do this because, uh. Um. There's no way I could cross that otherwise. Yeah, I can't make clones anymore. I want to talk to that. Okay, talking rock. A watcher cannot be ended. A watcher always is. There's only disconnection from the chain. Do I sound a little bit like... Like, um... Andy Samberg's Nicolas Cage? What is destruction? Is it like being changed? Yeah. Probably. Yay, we're back. I don't know why I guess that, that gun breaks the swapper. You hear? This is the first watcher know? we ever discovered, the head. Oh, wow. It sorts, filters, and distributes the thoughts of every watcher in broadcast range. It also killed the crew. They're Jerk. like every other living being in that respect. You corner them, and the defense mechanisms kick in. Very effective. Something in the air. Don't Probably blink. Have a few hours to live. Unfortunately, these things are practically indestructible. There's no time to jettison them all and nowhere to run. You're going to have to engage it with a swapper device and take control. Ooh. Once the watcher mind is I'll in your it. body, it'll be harder. Once you're in there, just try to keep it together until I can come and pull you out. I wish you luck, but honestly, it should be straightforward enough. Are you killing it? Um, the little swirls in the head are claymation. Oh. So which... One way to do this and it's mine. Are you bad now, or were you bad before? Did you break free from the control? Hmm, who knows. Um, it reminds me of, what was it, Neverhood? A little bit. Dr. Chalmers, the brain specimen are donated by terminal patients and kept alive in a nutrient-rich gel. We offer them life, they allow us to learn from them. Dr. Bennett, Dr. Chalmers, uh, should you always see Yeah, I can see. Dr. Chalmers, it's quite, I'm, is quite aware of the existing ban on testing the swapper device between crew members, and is seeking to circumvent it by testing on people who cannot complain. The doctor is practicing consensual slavery. Dr. Chalmers. I am practicing the prolonging of life for good cause. You'd make the same choice in their situation. Dr. Dennett. You don't know enough about that device to make any such claim. None of your theories account for the empirical evidence. Some of them break the law of conservative energy. Dr. Chalmers. Yet with no amount of physical exploration, 
explanation, can you communicate to me what it is like to see red, to feel pain, to be afraid of death? Why, if all we are is nuts and bolts, we may as well consider the computer alive. Your account is missing the magic, and when the cards are down, mine is simply easier to believe. Scientists talking about magic. Are we safe? Has the other mind changed again? Ah, okay, okay, interesting. Going down. She chose down! Extrapolating from your behavior thus far, I can only conclude that you're hopelessly deranged. Very well. Head towards control. I'll see if I can't Malfunction. come up with some common ground. Are we going home? I haven't played Gone Home. Boom. Whoop. Nope. Okay. Wapped back. Oh, it's a thing. An elevator. Crush me to the ceiling. 